Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we are continuing our 12 cards of Christmas series and making a pull-up concertina card. Like always, you have a link to the measurements in the description under the video. You can go ahead, grab that, print that for free and have all the measurements for all the cards. So we're going to start with our strips with our concertina pieces and we're going to score them at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So you have four concertina pieces and you're going to score all of them the same way at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 inches. Basically, basically creating squares and these are going to be folded in accordion shape and that will give us the effect of the pull-up concertina on all four sides. So you'd have to have this type of folding like this and you're going to fold down the last square because you're not going to cover it with cover papers. So you basically have six squares on the concertina, but you're only going to cover five of them. So I went ahead and glued the smaller squares to the larger squares, and now I'm covering the five squares of the concertina. And what I'm doing here is repeated on the other three concertina sides. So basically you're going to have four identical concertina pieces that are going to be attached to the base of the card. This is the base and it has a cover paper. So we're only going to attach things to the cover paper now. Only to the cover paper. So let's bring a ruler and find the center. We're going to mark it with a pencil and then draw a line. This is the back side of the cover paper, the bottom. We're working on the bottom. This is not going to show because this part is going to be glued to the base. And we're going to find the center in the other side as well. And we're going to mark it with a pencil. And now we're going to have a cross on the paper. This will help us center the pieces when we attach them. So now we're going to attach the concertina pieces to the bottom of the cover paper like this on all four sides. And we need to center them according to the lines that we drew. So we're going to apply glue to the inside or the bottom of the last uncovered square and then attach it to the center of one side of the concertina. Use the line to center it on the edge of the paper. And then we're going to attach the other three pieces exactly the same way, centering them according to the lines that we drew. And this will make sure that everything will be in the center and aligned and symmetrical because this is what we want. So that's the third piece attached to the cover paper. Now we can go ahead and attach the last piece. So you see everything is really centered and it's ready to be flipped. So this is all sides of the concertina that are going to be pulled up and give us the effect. Okay, so now we have our two strips and these strips are going to be attached to the top of the concertina pieces. So first let's attach them in a cross shape, one to the other. 
and now I'm just going to put them under the first square of each concertina, center the cross, and then mark with the pencil so that will be a guideline for me when I attach it with glue. So I want the cross to be exactly in the center between the four squares. So just wiggle it to place and when you think it's in the center, mark the edges of the squares on the cross with a pencil. Now we need to, like this is how it looks, now we need to insert our ribbon. So you need to punch two holes. You only need to make a hole in the circle, in one on the circles, not two like I did. So you punch two circles and only punch a hole in one of them. And you take a piece of ribbon to insert in the hole. So you also need to punch the center of the cross and then insert the two edges of the ribbon through the hole and then you open the edges of the ribbon and attach one circle, the one without the hole on top of them. That will secure them in its place. I have a hole but you don't need to make a hole in this circle, okay? And you won't see it anyway so if you did it's don't worry about it. Now you need to insert the ribbon through the hole in the second circle and attach the circle as well. So now you have a nice finish and the ribbon is secured to the cross and you can go ahead and attach the cross to the concertina and this little ribbon will be like a handle to pull the card up. So apply glue to the edges of the cross all the way until the marked pencil line and now you'll be able to attach the concertina squares exactly in place and they will be centered perfectly. So just apply glue. You have to wiggle it a little bit. That's why I like to use liquid glue because it allows me to move everything until everything is in its place. When you work with double-sided tape there is no drying time so for me it's less comfortable. Of course if you like it better then you can use that. Okay, so I'm aligning all the four squares with the pencil marks and when it's dry you can lift this up and it looks really, really cool. Now all we have to do is attach the cover paper to the base of the card and the card is ready. Of course you can add little messages on the sides of the concertina, the four concertina parts or you can write your message on the back of the base of the card, that's up to you. You can also add little photos instead of the cover papers of the concertina sides. Just make your own design any way that you want. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects including the 12 cards of Christmas series. So here's our pull up concertina card. I think it looked really good. And again you can write on the sides, add embellishments, add photos, write on the back and have a really fun card. You can hang it in your house or Whoever gets it can hang it in their house. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.